<laughs> Badly drawn boy! On XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Jamais with me, Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. I'll tell you what, the stone is then. Oh -ho -ho. This Thursday. This Thursday at the Grosvenor House Hotel. Yeah. Everyone in radio, anyone has, uh, entered their show in different categories saying, oh, you know, they get, they get it down to, you know. Winners uh, this year included the brilliant Dominic Mohan, former, uh, showbiz editor of The Sun. Uh, lots of, lot, lots of people won. Lots of people won. Lots of people won gold. Lots of people won silver. Lots of people won bronze. We didn't get a sausage. <laughs> Nothing. This show was deemed not, not worthy of anything. I mean, not, not a look in. The panel looked at it and said, well, no, definitely this is not. not radio. Didn't get a, didn't get a vote. See, that, that annoys me on so many levels. Let me, let me tell you, one, right, I've never complained about losing an award. Okay, ever. Yeah, in, mainly in TV. I know we've won a lot, but we've been beaten a couple of, beaten by Peter Kay. Good luck to him. He's brilliant. Um, beaten by Phoenix Knights in sitcom. A lot of people like that more than the office, and uh, vice versa, right? Uh, n no qualms. But the shoddy shite that I heard that night beating us, I was furious. I don't understand. There's, there's people, regional, it sounds like hospital radio, right? They, I mean, I shouldn't even be on XFM. I thought, uh, you know, it, it, it's beneath me. Yeah, yeah. And I thought, well, I'll give them a hand, right? Let's show them. And I want to know who the panel was as well. I, I do not believe it. Uh, how can they dip? Um, I was looking back over the, some of the shows, right, before I go to Carl, and I've just done a little excerpt of, a, you know, a trailer of what we, what we do, what we're about, and I don't know how the panel could overlook this. Play a bit, Carl, please. Shaking her muff, minge, and <laughs> tits around does not make her a hoe, then what does? These kids at school with big heads. Carl, what are you talking about? Shut! Oh, well, my name is Holy Fuck. Right, there's yeah. this monkey that, uh, was on a train station. Right. What, you, what if you mean cock to mean penis? <laughs> It was me Down Syndrome son. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. <laughs> so we've still got monkey news coming up. <laughs> You're an idiot! You know what I mean? That's, to me, quality broadcasting. I don't know how they can say that isn't worthy. That's what we sent in <laughs> to the Sony people. <laughs> they listened to that. How they didn't think that was dynamite <laughs> stuff, it doesn't make sense. But, you know, I've been thinking about this since Thursday, because I've been a little bit uh, down in the dumps. Yeah. What I think it is, is that with the radio, with the TV show, the TV stuff we've done, Rick, we put a lot of work into that. Yeah. We, we get the script, we got the script, yeah, we, yeah. we spend a lot of time on it. What this show is about, it's very much about spontaneity, it's about our personalities, and I don't think we're ever going to win an award for our personalities. <laughs> I think that's where we're going Do you know wrong. what I think? I think that when we're together, we're with the auteurs of The Office and, you know, and, uh, we're strong on it, and we're just two, uh, we write it, we direct it, yeah. we, you know, we, we cast it, we, 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 we even worry about the font and stuff on the, you know, we do everything. Mm -hmm. There's a weak link in our midst, I well, think. On the radio show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right, yeah, well, I'm yeah, just yeah. trying to think what the common factor is, because on the um, award-winning TV show, well, it's just you and I. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, can we play a record, and uh, let me think about this, because there must be some, there must be something. There's gotta be a factor. That isn't in the office that's in this, that means that the office is award-winning, and this is a pile of shite. Brown Sugar by, uh, The Rolling Stones on XFM 104.9. I'm Ricky Gervais with Steve Merchant. And with us, um, Carl, Carl Pilkington, the third, third member of this, um, team. Mm. Team. We and, me and you do The Office. Award winning. Yeah, and me, us three do this, do this show. No awards. <laughs> Nothing. Carl, what, what are your thoughts? What do you think's wrong with the show? Why do you think the panel listened to our show and said, that is awful, it's not actually a radio show? Well, what can I just point out, so many people may not realise that last year we won a bronze, so we've actually gone down, we've actually slid off the list all yeah. entirely. I know, but I mean, that, that, yeah, but Carl wasn't really as involved last well, year. Well, I remember last, last year, we, you, it was very much you yeah, and yeah, I yeah, doing yeah. it. Yeah, 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 I mean, we just, we just started out on it, yeah, so I mean, so you can't really, you can't really compare. Hold on, though. Well, well, interesting, interesting. What do you think, Carl? What, what do you think the reason thoughts, is? Thoughts, Carl? Any thoughts? I see what you're getting at, right? But- You're not stupid. But, when I put the compilation together, yeah. I made sure that it was mainly you two. Mm. Mm. So don't, don't be, uh, don't be doing that. Don't be playing that game. So you, oh, so you put the compilation together? Yeah. Right, again. Ah, right, interesting, because we- were we, involved with we that. We usually do the office, edit the office and everything, we have the final cut on the office. So you- Oh, I see, so yeah, you- Oh, so right, no, 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 so you're the producer. You had your fingers all over it, interesting. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. So, oh, uh, well, um, uh, that, so the tape was the smoking gun, and whose fingerprints were on it? Carl Pilkington's, interesting. Yeah, that's interesting, we didn't- 
get a sausage. Mm. But, you know, uh, do you know what, uh, seriously though, you know, you- Well, I don't mean seriously, it is his fault. <laughs> I know, but I mean, we, we, it's our fault as well, cause we should have known better, right? But- Than to employ him, yeah. But, um, I actually think it's a slap in the face. Mm. I wanna know the panel was, I know what Sony are thinking, just adding it out to the same old people, mm. you know mm. what I mean? Every clip they played was a funny phone call. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And so, I'm Did actually- Did we send any of our funny phone calls in? So if anyone, if anyone, <laughs> if anyone cares, I think, well, I, th I, th I think we should knock it on the head, as a oh, protest yeah. against Sony. And I said, I've never complained before, about the, but I mean this one, don't know what they, don't know what they think. I want, I w or I want someone on the panel, it was entertainment, I want someone on the panel to phone up and say why they think this show is rubbish. Well, I'll, I'll apologise. Well, I'll not apologise, if they stand by the, if they tell me why, you know, because, you know, <laughs> listening to that, that clip now, I can't see anything wrong with that as- No, sure. As sort of, you know, daytime radio. It's interesting, I mean, I, I don't think, um, our number one fan, Dickie Anderson, Richard Anders, was, uh, on the- on the panel, although he here has emailed in. Go He's on, got a couple of thoughts as to maybe why we- What we is end. Dickers doing, man? Uh, Dickers says, commiserations on not winning a Sony. I can't believe you didn't win, naturally. Oh. I mean, apart from your show's obvious lack of quality and effort, having a monkey for a producer, offering the biggest load of tat as competition prizes, <laughs> saying hairy Chinese kid 48 times every show, <laughs> rockbusters, not bothering to turn up for weeks on end, only having three listeners, introducing the comedy characters Camp David Har Harry Fook, which I think he spelt wrong there, mm. Stephen Merchant, I'm not a character. <laughs> Apart from insulting every race, religion, and sexual orientation, bickering like schoolgirls, we and haven't done everyone misery. yet. We have not insulted everyone yet. With there's loads to go. Despite the fact you generally bring misery into the lives of anyone who listens, I thought you were surefire winners. Better luck next year. Well, I mean, a couple of constructive, you know, criticisms there, but generally, I no. still can't nail it. Was he on the panel? Well, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, he's a fan, so. Yeah. Well, no, he, he's clearly a fan. I mean, yeah. <laughs> he, love, he obviously loves the show. He's because he's. I mean, he has hit the nail on the head. Oh. Which, yeah. But uh, yeah. what should we do? Should, should we give up or should we try harder? That—that's always my dilemma in sure. life. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I've—I've I've, I've always gone for the first one. Give up. Yeah. yeah why yeah, why yeah, bother? Yeah. yeah. If they, if they can't see, just give just give us the award, yeah. and then worry about it later, and we won't let them down. Yeah. Now they've got they've got blood on their hands. Mm. We're gonna- Yeah. What should we do? To give a month, couple of months notice? I think so. Okay, well, there you yeah, go. I mean, seriously, I mean, I- because well, I'm- I think- Well, I'm being here. I'm not being wacky now. Um, we haven't told Andrew, but- uh, I I'll, think I'll, we've run our course with this show. Yeah, yeah. So let's- let's- okay, we'll give it a month, and it's because the Sonys yeah. didn't give us anything. Play record. Yeah. There you well, go. Well, you gotta do a bit longer than that. No, we haven't. Gotta we give a month's notice. No, you gotta work till about September, if you're gonna- No, we haven't. Yeah. No, we can give a month's notice. we you know, whatever they give the money about somewhere. we 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 well, well, you give your money back. Yeah, I know. What are you, what are you gonna spend your eighty quid on? <laughs> True. <laughs> By the way, Red Hot Chili Peppers on XFM one hundred four point nine. So, a few more shows. And then I, that's I, it. I hope Sony are happy. Mm. They should encourage. You know, we've only been radio, you know, a couple of years. Exactly. Trying. You encourage young, ta you encourage young talent yeah. like you. Yeah. Instead of giving it to Radio One and Radio Two mm. and the old war horses. We just had a quick email. I wonder if you can answer this. It's James from NWL. He says, "Ricky, is Carl going to be on this week's show? Please let me know, as I may listen if he's not." <laughs> um, sadly, oh, he is here. Oh I mean, dear. people are already turning against you, Carl, because they've seen what's happened. Yeah. I think they've probably realised that we've I think we gave him too much. Enough. I think, exactly, I think we've got a spoiled sort of kid in our hands. It's sort of like, you know, we, we knew, we knew how bad he was, but we were trying to sort of bring him out of his shell a little bit. Yeah. Encourage, you've got to encourage sort of, um, children like Carl. Well, yeah, exactly. Just exactly. sort of fend for themselves. Mm. Um, but, uh, I like the fact that Dickie Anderson had that wonderful rant. It, I mean, it was an articulate, email, it was quite long, and he must have typed it immediately. I'm thinking, because he's a fan of the show and he, he thinks I'm a, you know, a genius, we need a PA. Sure. Don't we? Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon he'd come and work for us? Um, well he can't be any worse than what we've already got. <laughs> I um, know. You know. So, there you go then, we're giving up, we're giving up radio. We're gonna concentrate on television. Carl's gonna probably go back to what, your little, just doing your well, sound. The thing I won a silver for at the Sony's. Funny that, mm. isn't it? Oh, you won a silver, did you? I got a silver, yeah. Oh, for yeah. Doing, what was that for? for? doing the proper job that I do here in the week. Well, oh, no, yeah. it was two of you for a start. Yeah. Well, there's three of us. Couldn't even get a bronze. Now, who's the weak link? <laughs> right? 
Well, bit weird, eh? let's get let's look let's get, let's not argue. We haven't got many shows to do. To be fair, though, this this show is, is I think it's more to do with the fact that you talk on this show that has brought us down. Right, I haven't said anything hardly today. No, well, this is an award-winning show potentially. <laughs> we'll add this one in for yeah. next year. <laughs> oh. If you could just keep stum, we might have a chance. All right. Well, coming up, right? Carl. Let's put it behind us. Okay. Let's draw a line under it. Um, we had a meeting yesterday. We thought we better you know, for the last few shows, plan it a little bit. Mm. And me and Steve came up with a great idea. We're gonna offer Carl money to do stuff. Yes. Um, <laughs> That's the quality of the ideas on this. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, uh, I've brought some money in, a lot of little stuff, because we had him, we had him showering with our mate Johnny for a thousand pounds yesterday, Yeah, we, we just got into a discussion and then one of us suggested that how much would it cost us to pay you, Carl, <laughs> to have a shower with another man? Not- and there's nothing gonna- going you got, on. No, no, there's nothing going on, you just- you're just in a shower, a normal shower, you're just watching e washing each other, having- uh, no, not each other, just yourselves. Yeah, you're just, you're just having a chat. Yeah, right, washing you go, yourselves, yeah, having a shower. Yeah. But and it's it, a we, regular shower in a, in a regular yeah. house. It's not a shower in and a he, And pool. he went fine. He got we got he got a thousand pounds out of it. He wouldn't do nine hundred. He got a thousand pounds out of it. But then we said, and we'll have to watch to make sure you do it. Yeah. And he went, no, that's he weird. So, but wh why? What's the, was, yeah, but this is what annoys me though, right? The whole idea of, oh, what would you do, right? <laughs> so I bet you missed out there. When what? we started this chat saying, oh, I wonder what you'd do for money, it did start off with, would you rub Dale Winton's neck? <laughs> would you give Dale Winton a massage <laughs> for 20 what? quid? No, we, but, we, yeah, but it's you have to say no, 500. You could, you got, we're trying to find out what your price is. What price, Carl, is the name of the show. So, so you'd, would you give, um, uh, uh, Dad Whitten just a, he's got a knot, he's got a bit of a knot, he's stressed, he's been doing supermarket sweep, and he's furious, one of the contestants was answering back, calling him names, and he's got, he's got all knots in his neck. You just put your, th just give him a little bit of a, you know, five minutes. <laughs> a little neck massage. How much would you do that for? He's naked and it's just a little neck massage. Nothing, there's nothing going on. It's like See, there you you're go. naked he's as well, naked. but it's I'm just the two of you naked up giving him a little massage. No, no, seriously. Uh, would you would you give him? Um, okay, would you would you give me a foot massage? For how much? Well, that's well, that's, that's, that's what's so your that's price. And what are the rules though? Can I wear gloves? No, no, no. Just just, just uh, you know. Let's start off simple. Would you take off my shoes and socks? Uh, for for I'd do it for like. Fifty quid. There's, you've got- Okay, that's okay. No, no, Twenty quid to take off one mm. shoe and one sock, but like you mean it. You just take the shoe off, you go, uh, and as you're putting down my sock, you pull the sock down slowly, you look me in the eyes and go, what lovely ankles. <laughs> Seriously, how uh, much? What price? Uh, twenty quid a foot. Twenty quid a foot. That's got so, to be worth it. So twenty quid, you will take off my, um, we're putting on some soft music, <laughs> right? <laughs> Da, 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 no, 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 I don't need it today. That's that's what I was saying to you yesterday. You always do. You know what I mean? No, you, you don't. At the moment, I'm quite happy. Give it to a homeless person. Give it to a charity. Don't well, get him in here. Well, wait, wait, are you still going to shower with Johnny for a thousand pounds? Not now, because you said, and me and Steve are just going to stand in the corner and, and watch. Well, we've got to make sure you do it. You might go in there and just like wet your hair and come out, pay Johnny five hundred quid, and go. Yeah, we had a shower. How will we know? Sorry, I'm quite interested about the shoe and sock. <laughs> I'm, I'm back to the- I'm back to the shower. You just have to wash yourselves. Now, we have to inspect that it's really clean, because we want you to wash certain parts really- Right, well, wh why have you both got to be in there, then? Well, no, just one of us. You? Can we just take- I mean, we, yeah. Or- or can, can Steve film it? <laughs> <laughs> as- as evidence. Just as evidence. Or we'll I'll tell you what, we'll leave the TV camera in there, we- neither of us to be in there, and then we can just watch the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, are you a couple well, of I benders? Be, I should- <laughs> Are you a couple of benders? No. <laughs> No. <laughs> but can we can we discuss further the uh, taking of the shoe and the sock? Because uh, I think there's twenty pounds in I am willing to pay twenty pounds to see that. See a little surprise for you there. That's uh uh cold player here, they're live through there. Thanks, um can they hear me? Can they hear me? Um uh yeah, brilliant. Do you wanna- do you wanna say a few words? Do you wanna yeah, say no, something? I have a quick word with Chris. Uh, lead singer Chris. Chris, good to have you here. Hello. <laughs> and, um, um, how's it going with Gwyneth Paltrow? Brilliant, yeah. yes. She's uh, a lovely lady. Yeah, no, I thought so, yeah. I saw her in Shakespeare in Love. She's good, she good in that, yeah, isn't she? if you would pass that on to her, just yeah, say well, I yeah. Um, um, it's going alright. You gonna get married to her? Yeah, so I- um, I marry either her or that Julia Roberts going, woman. Yeah, either one is good. Yeah. Um, um, good I know- to, uh, I know interest- I know you're on holiday at the moment in yeah. Hawaii. I read in the no, paper today. No, no. You're actually here. I'm actually here. <laughs> okay. Um, Gotta uh, go now, gotta go. Alright, just a couple of quick- I'll see you later, Chris. Yes, see you, Ricky.
So that's the sort of guests. That's the calibre of guests. We're just trying to up Just like Jonathan Ross. We've got guests like Jonathan Ross. That's Coldplay, just popped in. Just popped so, in. So if you're the Sony people listening, you brilliant. might wanna... And we've still got Carl to take off my sock for 20 quid, okay? Let's do it now. Let's just get it over with and do it now. Come on, Carl. Let's get our cash out then, Rick. There's ten pounds right no, there. No, 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 you don't owe him, because he owes you ten, so I just have to pay him ten. Okay. Yeah. So, go on then. Just not, take- Not whilst Coldplay are here. <laughs> <laughs> They've, they've had to shoot off. <laughs> Come no, on. I don't want to do it. Let's why not? Tell me what- we've been on now for half an hour. Okay, okay. Well, well, at the end of this, why won't you do it? It's ridiculous. You won't have a shower, you won't take my shoes and socks off, you won't do anything. You won't uh, give- Dale wouldn't rub down. What will you do, for Christ's sake? I don't wanna- I don't wanna do it. Say if mum and dad are, are, are like, I've heard about how well I'm doing in London. Yeah. Right? They've heard about, you know, the Sony Awards and that. They're yeah. talking to the mates, they're saying Carl's doing well for himself. Yeah. Let's have a listen to him on Sky. Yeah. They're tuning in, I'm taking off socks for money. What's it with that? That'll be the first time that anyone in your family has actually made, you know, money without stealing, thieving, yeah. it's or an honest, some kind it's of atrocity. Well, let's just do it quick then, because it's getting on my nerves. <laughs> it's actually annoying. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent, all right. Well, give me the money, Steve. No, oh, no you, well, he's just taking a tenner off me. Right, okay. Okay. Let's do it like that. You've got to do it properly. You've got to do it properly. You've got to do it properly. No, you've got to do it properly. Just gently. I can't see what's happening. Just pretend I'm working on shop. There's nothing normal. Come on, just get it done. What's that? What's the whistling? What's the whistling? <laughs> right. Okay, now do it properly, gently. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sweaty trainer, which just makes right, it all the more. Just right. gently caress it, caress it. <laughs> <laughs> someone watching in the office. Caress it there. Don't just right, gently yeah. ease just the shop. Just gently off. Just like working on shoe shop. There's nothing. <laughs> Nothing weird about it. Just gently yeah, ease it off. Right. I'm gonna burst. All right, now it's just, right, no, just gently come on, stop. gently do it. Don't just, just rip it off. Down, yeah. Yeah. Slowly, but slowly, tease it. it. <laughs> tease it. Oh my God, I don't like this. I just wasted ten tenner. That wasn't enjoyable. Now, now wait a minute. You've got to say. <laughs> so you've got say to say. Nice about my ankle. <laughs> so you've got lovely toes, and I love your ankle. You got nice toes, and that. <laughs> Say it properly. I don't like it anymore. Do it, and you've got right. to say, you've got <laughs> to, you've got to say for the tenor. Otherwise, oh, you're taking it back. You've God. got to say what lovely ankles you've got, but in a sweet, seductive voice. Right. Oh. Right. You got nice ankles. <laughs> that is not how you would seduce a woman. Like you that. would not seduce a woman like that, Carl. <laughs> Suzanne. Oh, I don't. Know. <laughs> Suzanne. I don't. <laughs> Imagine that. I don't know. I don't feel good about Leave it. Leave it off, because I want to see if we can get him to massage your toes. <laughs> See, I don't know what's worse. I, d I mean, I didn't like the feeling much. That wasn't very nice because it was all, it was all rough. And I, I, you know, and he's a, he's a skinhead and he's playing on the feet. And then I thought, oh, I've degraded him. So I don't know what I feel worse about. I'll g you can keep the tenor that you owe me if you massage his toes. No, I'm not doing that. No, no we paid him. He's done it. Yeah, the, the shoes are back on. We're with someone else next week. Someone else next week. Okay. So, if you'd like to Carl to humiliate himself for money, email in. No, Suzanne was surprised that I was like, last night I told her about it and I said- <laughs> Oh, why did you do that? I don't feel- I don't know what I feel now. I, that's not good. I don't know, that's not good, is it? And she just said, well, you know, uh, you don't like <laughs> chucking money away and that. And it was funny because we got talking about, uh, when- when we bought our first flat in Manchester, right? Uh, <laughs> I bought a- I bought a bed, right, I didn't have much money, and uh, what annoyed me is, I bought the bed and it turned up, and I said, where's the mattress? And they said, well, you don't get, you don't get a mattress with the bed, you've got to buy that separately. And I was like, well, that's not a bed then, <laughs> right? So I didn't have any more money. <laughs> Suzanne's at work, so I thought, well, I don't want to stress her out at work and that, mm. telling her we haven't got a mattress for the bed. I had a word with my dad, right, he knew a mate who had one in the back of a van, right, he said, I'll have a word with him, he'll let you have it. Got the van, brought it round, stunk a diesel and that, but I thought, well, it's, it's free, <laughs> it'll do. Yeah. <laughs> they brought it up, I stuck it in the spare room, Suzanne got home, she looked at the bed, she said, that looks alright, she wears the mattress, so it's in the next, next room, but I thought I won't tell her because sure. she won't like the idea. She went in, just the room stunk of like petrol fumes <laughs> and that, yeah. she said, what, what's going on? I said, well, it's, a mattress didn't come with a bed. So I've sorted you one out, I've got this off my dad, mm. and we didn't have one night on it. She said, get rid of it. Yeah. I had to go and ditch it. I don't know what she was thinking. <laughs> one of your father's friends is driving around in a van with a mattress in the back. Yeah. Was he a serial killer? <laughs> I mean, and she <laughs> didn't want to sleep on it. Like some sort of silence of the lamb. What kind of a cheapskate is she? What kind of a woman is she that she won't sleep on a mattress that has been in the back of a transit van? That's yeah, covered, in, like covered in- Petrol, diesel, probably urine, and Christ <laughs> knows what else. Yeah. Oh. So, you know, 
Would you swap pants with Steve for fifty quid now? You don't have to look at him. You go in the toilet. He, ta he takes his pants off in the toilet, leaves him there. You go in, <laughs> right? You come out with your trousers on. You go in, <laughs> right? Take your pants off, put his pants on, leave your pants in the toilet. Come out. You got his pants on. He goes in there. You come out. You swap pants. At the end of the show, you put it back. How much? When you say pants, what do you mean? Just Jeans. underpants. Underpants. No, I'm not doing underpants. Why? Why not? Seriously, these were fresh on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, but, but for I the mean, BAFTAs, for the uh, awards, the Sony. Do you know what I mean? But I mean, it's name your price. It's gonna be more than twenty quid. It's gonna be more than twenty quid. It's gonna be it's gonna be like eighty quid upwards, I think. No, clean on today. They yeah. were clean on today in their boxes. It's as bad for him as you. Don't, don't remember that. Thanks for that. Fifty quid. Really? Play record. No, hang on. You just said you'll give me fifty quid. If you go and swap pants. I don't know what's in it for me, I don't know why I'm doing this. It started off as torturing Carl, but not only am I out of pocket, I don't actually want you two to swap pants or touch my ankles. Well, Steve isn't I don't know what no. I've done. This is, I, 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 I'm the victim here. I've paid out and I don't even like it. Play a record, I want to think about this. Could, I mean, <laughs> I've got 50 quid if you. <laughs> as long as we can swap the pants but both be in the room at the same time. Band of Gold by the artist who featured in uh, uh, a recent Rockbuster uh, clue, which was I think uh, uh, the Jamaican fella needs an aspirin for his head, and that goes course to free the pain. <laughs> Brilliant. Rockbuster's coming up, isn't it, Carl? We uh, we set it up now. Get it get it going. No, let's 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 no. Let's I thought we it. weren't doing this anymore. I know. I don't know what happened. I, I don't, don't know. know. I, I mean. <sighs> But I mean, it's, I mean, we're shooting off in a couple of weeks, so yeah. What difference yeah. does it make? Well, we might, we might as well. Now you've mentioned it, it's a good time. Go on then. Right. Uh, three cryptic, cryptic clues, like the one you just heard there. Mm. Uh, first one. Cryptic. <laughs> that is cryptic a um, word. First one. My younger brother spotted you the other day. Right. That's the cryptic clue. My younger brother spotted you the other day. The initials J S, J S. For the band. Second one, uh, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. <laughs> <laughs> the way he looks up, like, it's Oscar Wilde. Yeah. It's, oh. That champagne belongs to the boxer's kid, the initials are A-M. And the third one, uh, the vibrators. And the initial B. What? Right? The vibrators. And the initial is B. So the first one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Oh, I know that one, that's ridiculous. J.S. The phone's going. Second one, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid, yep. A.M. And the third one, the vibrators, the initial B. So, email in and you win. You can say the prizes later, can't you? Well, I tell you what, this is terrible. I mean, we, we didn't even say the prizes, we weren't going to do this. The phone's going. Look at the phones, are going mental. Right, well, Carl, did you ever do paintings and drawings at school and then bring them home and your mum put them on the fridge? Uh, no, not really. I never brought them home. What, did you just screw them up and throw them in the bin? I just left them at school. Yeah. I've never had a bag. Alright. <laughs> 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 Excellent. Radiohead. They're there on XFM 104.9. You see, no, wait, what, uh, this is giving me an idea because, um, I think. What the best thing about this show is what happens when the records are playing, because mm. we, we sort of, we, uh, that's an example, inarticulate, yeah. Didn't have anything planned. Well, I start my mouth moving, but I didn't have anything planned. Yeah, like why we, was that? Why why don't you have anything planned there? What? what? Why didn't you know what you're going to say then? Because what were you doing when Radiohead was on? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I made Carl a new uniform that he has to wear in the second hour. What did I do? You got tissue paper. Yeah. Toilet roll, yeah. Ripped a bit off. Yeah. Made a little tie for me. <laughs> and put some in my ears. <laughs> yeah! So we had earplugs and matching tie. <laughs> yeah. And he looked good, didn't he? Yeah. He had earplugs and matching tie and I- and uh, I squeezed it in there and he went, I can't, it'll irritate me. Mm. So, mm. I'm thinking of things all the time to make this more fun for me. <laughs> yes. And it is just like that. Can but I- Sorry, a uh, quick question. Um, just want to raise- Steve, just want to raise a little point. Go on. Um, you say that you're spending most of your time thinking about how you can make this more entertaining for yourself. Yeah. I, 
is it worth ever considering the listeners? Well, I think that if 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 you're I, happy, they're happy. Yeah. I'm not sure that's true. I, I've been monitoring a lot of the feedback <laughs> on the email and stuff. Yeah. It doesn't appear to be the case. But that's because Carl won't go along with stuff. Sure. I mean, they could see on the webcam his little uh, matching matching earplugs and tie that I made. Mm. I just did a cartoon that went for three hundred and fifty pounds, right? On yeah. the in on the website, right? Mm. So that's that's one now. Yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna make it really good. We're gonna give him lots of stuff and sign DVDs and everything. So that's great. Three hundred fifty quid. Who was it? Uh, I think her name was Joanne. It's not definite yet because we haven't got the money off her. Wow, well, she's, she's, she's I, I, you know, you got to trust them, haven't you? Um, and so I, I think people would love to have had a matching. You know, I'd have signed it and everything. Little matching earplugs and necktie made out of toilet roll. Yeah, yeah. You know, and he and he didn't didn't want to wear it. But I had a great idea for a show. Right, we filmed the behind the scenes. Right, of each show. Mm -hmm. So you know, you get a, the, you know, the, a CD of what went out, but you saw what happened behind the scenes, right? And it follows us through a week, right? And it's called X Men Three. Ah, uh, see, because of XFM. Yeah. Right. And then we can film all Carl, what Carl looks like when I'm squeezing his head, what what he's like when we're trying to make him touch us, mm. all that sort of stuff. When he's getting all stressed out in the day, and we just pop up. Right, the what he looks like, his little head, mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And would this be broadcast on TV? Or? I think so. I right. think choice. So like BBC okay. Three. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I again. It's not because I, I. I mean, I'm very much in the the centre of the storm. I'm very much the eye of the storm. Yeah. And I know that I myself would not want to watch that. Really? No, because it's any I mean, negative, Carl. He was like this when you came up with cheapest chimps. Uh, he didn't. He wanted to drop rockbusters. What was the other thing he didn't like? Um, uh, that other TV idea I had. Yeah, what, putting a baby in a room, setting it on fire and see if he can make his way out? Setting the room on fire. Let's yeah. not get silly. Yeah. No, 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 but yeah. he didn't like that, did he? No. I mean, I don't, I don't want to sort of, I don't want to blow my own trumpet, but it does seem to me that my criticism of those things is probably justified. I mean, cheap as chimps. Yeah. Where is it now? Well, it's Donald McIntyre took it. Well, not really, Carl, <laughs> not really. It is but, um, a, a pitiful <laughs> memory. Um, yeah. your, both your game show ideas are terrible. This TV show idea, I think, again, it's only interesting to you, Rick. This is what you fail to realise. You've got no sense of the greater public. They don't- they, to be honest, I'm- I'm just taking this from what people are emailing in. They're not interested in Carl. See, I don't read the emails. They're not interested in Carl. I, I don't read the emails. They're not interested in but Carl. they're not interested in Carl. But if we did a documentary about him, like they did about Oliver, the- the- the human Z, or- no, that's a different case. Or that the girl that was older than her mum, or, you know, all those other sort of- things. I think mm. if we actually did a definitive documentary and got in doctors to talk about him, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. showed him- That psychiatrist from Big Brother. Yeah, and just talked about it and then showed him in his environment. I think it would be- I think it would be brilliant. I think it would be a brilliant show. But I think that's interesting. I think you're right. Uh, some kind of anthropological study of Carl, fascinating. You making a little neckerchief well, uh, for him, uh, I'm not so convinced. But that will be, be part of it. Play a record, let's think about this, because I think this is an idea. If any broadcasters are listening, like Greg Dyke or, um, you know, We'd even go to Channel 5 with this, I think, wouldn't really? we? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alternatively, if you'd like to, uh, incorporate Carl into some kind of Blue Peter appeal. Let's do so much. Let's just get Carl- look at his face. How could you not- see, a lot of people still don't know what you look like, Carl. Play record. During breaks, painkiller on XFM 104.9. A couple of emails, Rick, that I ought to notify you about. Um, Holly is emailed in. She wants us to wish her good luck. She says that she's one of 15,000 women who will be walking uh, 26 miles around London starting at midnight tonight in their bras to raise money for a breast cancer research. Prostitutes? Uh, no, 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 just regular ladies, I think. Oh, right. Um, but I, d I was at a loose end, so that's something for me to do. <laughs> 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 I'll, uh, no, I'll, I'll pop down and, and, and support them. Um, um, also, we got we got to say hello to uh, Sonia, who's uh, it's her eighteenth birthday, and we're going to play a little Smiths track for her later. So uh, it's like uh, we're trying we're trying to be interactive. Yeah, um, I've seen how other DJs do it. They have phones. They go and uh, what are you, how are you celebrating tonight? Oh, we're just going out, Foxy. Uh, have a good time. Here we go. This is you know what I mean. Yeah. We've got to be. I've guessed we had we had Chris Martin in from Coldplay. Which is going to be a lot. Well, Chris is Delir. Hello. Uh, Chris, how did you come up with the ideas for your songs? Just make them up in my head with the guitar. And, um, how old are you now? Twenty-eight. Thanks very much for that. More from Chris Martin later, I imagine. Cheers. And we've also um, had, uh, Cheers. Email... <laughs> Thanks, Chris. We've also had an email from Jim. 
It's as easy as that. We read an email from Jimmy. He says, uh, on the subject of the postcards, his brother once met the bloke who posed for the photo on those biros that when you tip them up, the black ink so kind of sinks away and right. it shows him nude. And he was apparently an aspiring model and he got paid $75 for it in Hong Kong in the 70s. Carl, would you have done that? Would you pose mo nude for a pen for $75? I mean, inflation's gone up. Let's uh, double it every ten years, say. So, yeah, uh, so uh, 150, uh, 300. I'll give you 600 quid to post news for, for biros that we give away for XFM. An XFM biro, where your clothes sink away when you turn it upside down. And what sort of shape was this fella in? Did he was in pretty good shape, yeah, I think. Uh, 600 quid. Yeah. I'll make it back on selling the pens. No, I won't do that. No. I always remember being at school, uh, when I, the first time I ever encountered one of those pens. There was a kid at school, Jason, and he had a, I had a pen, one of those pens and you turn it upside down and it was where the woman's clothes sink away and she's naked. Yeah. And I remember sort of seeing it and him showing it to everyone, all the young lads, and them thinking, this is amazing. And, um, and I always remember thinking it was like the idea that it was sort of a way to cheat teachers. Oh, there's Jason, he's just got a pen there with a picture of a woman yeah. wearing some clothes. That's fine. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. If he brings a porn mag in, I'll have him. <laughs> he's out. But, yeah, but I can't- But no. I've always imagined- can you imag imagine how embarrassing would it be to be- to be caught masturbating over one of those pens? <laughs> Business man! Yeah. <laughs> he's like- his wife catches him. <laughs> no, you can- no, it's a silly. Um, I'm gonna say- oh, sorry. So what are you doing? Just- I'm just doing some writing with this- this regular pen. Right, what? Well, no, don't- don't- don't turn it upside down. Ah. Can I just come round where you're sitting and just say, <laughs> why are you naked? The only thing I think more embarrassing would be to ca be caught masturbating looking into a mirror. <laughs> <laughs> well, for you maybe, for me and Carl, you're right. <laughs> um, uh, we should give the Rockbusters clues again one for final time before we, um, we give out the answers. And I should right. mention the prizes as well, <laughs> if you still want to enter. Uh, we've got some various things, a couple of CDs, a smash hit <laughs> CD. Right, looking into a mirror. Uh, let's move on from that. Club Anthems 2003, Strange and Beautiful. Nude. Eh? I hate being nude anyway. Why? What do you mean you hate being nude? Uh, it's not normal if you walk about. Do you walk about the house we're now on? No, because we've got windows. Yeah, but, alright, with the blinds shut or whatever. Well, I have a bath. No, no, but say shutting. like, say like with, you know, with, with Jane and that. Are, are you happy walking about? No, just, no, I, I, I walk around in my pants or a towel. I won't, I won't purposely walk around nude for the sake of it, no. <laughs> No, I know, so, but, but, but I, in the morning I don't mind, when I get up, so yeah. I go for a shower, but I don't sort of flaunt it about, I just wondered if that's normal, or... Well, no, what, what do you mean, is it normal? If, if, if there's no one can see you, then... No, like, but, but your girlfriend's in and that, but what I mean well, is, yeah, it's like, you, you can put a pair of pants on, can't you? Do you know, all I'm saying is- Well, you put Steve's on if you want. <laughs> yeah, for 30 quid. What do you want, do, what, do, you want, do you want to put a pair of pants on now? No, it's just like you're asking me to do it for a pen. What would you do, right? What would you do, right, if, um, you did that thing with Steve and you put- left your pants in there and you went and you put his on, but there's- it was sort of like- it was damp. Right, so Rockbusters then, we'll get yeah. this out of the way, right? Uh, the so the one. prizes, Carl, uh, I've mentioned there's a number of CDs, we've also got Wild Weather, um, a fascinating, uh, it looks like two VHS <laughs> set about weather, <laughs> about various weather conditions around the world. That must be selling like hotcakes. Uh, Sean Lloyd could be in that now, yeah, couldn't indeed. you? And, um, also signed by Norman, it's Fatboy Slim's Big Beach Boutique. That must have been troublesome for, um, the station that, <laughs> that has, uh, you know, close ties with Norman to get hold of, but well done. And, uh, that's Fatboy Slim, Big Beach Boutique. So, yeah, there's a number of not bad prizes to give away there. And the clues were, Carl? Uh, first one was, uh, my younger brother spotted you the other day, the initials JS. We had, um, that champagne belongs to the boxer's kid. That was AM. And, uh, third one, the vibrators. That's the, rubbish, that one. And the initial B. We'll Is give away the, uh, the prizes and the answers next. Um, yeah. what, are we going to play a record, or do, what we got coming up? We got Monkey News. Yeah, we got that. We got, uh... We've got loads, too numerous to mention at the moment. We got any adverts? Got some of them. Oh, brilliant. Cram them in later. Excellent. Look forward to them. Joe Jackson. Good, good track. Good tune. Well, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Different for girls. Joe Jackson on XFM 104.9. A retro cut. Um, bit of monkey news would be good, Carl, if you got that. Well, we're, we're, we're struggling here. We're struggling, Steve. Wait a I minute. Mean, I, I, you say that, but wait a minute. The answers for Rockbusters are coming up right now. 
you thought people were turning oh, off. Oh, we've got. No. Oh, what have we done? We've done. Take my shoes off for money. Take <laughs> my shoes off for money. We've done that. We've done. Um, oh, look at these funny postcard breasts. <laughs> and uh, we've done. We didn't win a Sony. Um, coming up, regular monkey, features. Um, oh, jeez, we got, got nothing, have we? Come on. Sometimes it's good. Come on, Carl, save us. You've got to save so us. We've done. Those answers. Are we doing them now, Steve? Yeah. Right. Uh, first one, my younger brother spotted you the other day. Yeah. The initials there, JS, that was junior senior. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> I'll give you that. Second one, that champagne belongs to the boxers kid. That was AM. That was Alison's Moye. Alison's Moye. <laughs> Alison Moye. Sorry, just one. give us the clue again. That champagne belongs to the boxers kid. So, Muhammad Ali's son. Yeah. Right, Alison's Moye. Yeah. Brilliant. And then third one, always a, an easy one in there for everyone to look and take part. Uh, the vibrators, the initials, B, that's Buzzcox. <gasps> you can't say Cox. <laughs> that's, why we, 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 that's why you can't say Cox. Oh, have we got a winner? We have indeed. Um, I chose him because his name amused me. Um, which is a bit hard. It's not Mr. Tits. <laughs> no, no, no. Gerald Preston. <laughs> Sorry, Gerald. I don't know why that tickled me. It's so oh, unfair. It only tickled me because it's not funny. <laughs> it's There's so nothing unfair. funny with Gerald Preston. There is nothing <laughs> funny. I think with... it was because it sounded like it was a man of a different generation. I think that was why Gerald it sounded... Preston. It sounded <laughs> like. <laughs> That's terrible. I know. Right, Gerald. There's nothing funny about that name. There's nothing funny about the name. Gerald. Just Steve just made me laugh. <laughs> I, he don't, did... <laughs> I don't know why that made us funny. It made us laugh, but it just tickled me. Oh, but but <laughs> Gerald, whatever you think of your name, don't worry because these prizes There's including nothing funny. About about Gerald Preston. <laughs> I don't know, Gerald, if you're a fan of wild weather, <laughs> but you've got a 2 VH set <laughs> coming to your way, <laughs> so you certainly will be interested in extreme weather conditions by the end of that, I would have thought. Plus oh, some arbitrary CDs, oh. so um, good luck, Jerry. Oh, dear. Excellent. Um, right, brilliant. Good. That's that sorted. Right, let's have another tune and then maybe some monkey news. Yeah. Well, actually, now you've sort of mentioned a bit of monkey news, that I've found something in the week, right, that we've talked about in the past, right, that... Oh, I've got some other monkey stuff, but this is just. Oh, forget it. I... Oh, come on! What? I... Come on! What's the matter with you? Right, do you know that thing we did ages ago? What? When uh, we were out one day and we we're talking about monkeys in in a room with a with a PC, and if you leave them in there long enough, yeah, eventually a, a, an infinite amount of monkeys, or one monkey in an infinite amount of time, will eventually. Type the complete word of Shakespeare. Yeah, right, we talked about that ages ago. Yeah, I said it wouldn't happen. No, it, it doesn't make sense. You can't say it wouldn't happen. It doesn't make sense. It's a, a mathematical conundrum. It doesn't anyway, make sense. Go on. Anyway, right? They got a couple of monkeys. Right. So not an infinite amount then. <laughs> okay. So all right, but never mind. Yeah. Uh, got a couple of monkeys. Put it in a room. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was a if it was one PC or they got got a job lot or whatever. Not an infinite amount then. And. Uh, <laughs> Left them in there for a month. Oh, not an infinite amount of time then, either. <laughs> okay. So two monkeys a month. Okay, go on. Yeah, I see the experiments no, working about, so far. About eight monkeys. Oh, eight <laughs> monkeys. Oh, let me just work that out as a, as a fraction of infinity. Oh, yeah. It's one, oh, infinity, eight, eight into infinity. Oh, God, uh, um, a month. And what That's happened then, Carl? Did, did, they they the did they type the complete watch of Shakespeare? I'm assuming they no, did. No, they, 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 uh, no, they only did a proportion of it. <laughs> okay, what they did just they did Macbeth. <laughs> What happened then, Carl? Please they, tell us. They didn't have anything. They didn't come up with anything. You're an idiot, Carl. <laughs> you really are an idiot. Play a record. That's ridiculous. What did you expect? What did you expect? Yeah, a, bit, a, bit, a bit of Keats. No, and Pastry no. of the Radio Times by one of them. The cleverest <laughs> one. No, but what they did say is they didn't even get- they didn't even write one word out. One- No. You don't- No. Infinity or nothing. That's the point. There's a big leap between any number you could think of and infinity. In fact, an infinite leap. Do you understand the concept of infinity? Don't rub your eyes. I, I, I lost him on "Do you?" Yeah, didn't I? Right, play. A did record. they type any? Did they type nothing from like any of the book? Any of the Tarzan no, books? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but they must have read them. I mean, that would be their favourite, surely. <laughs> I'm stunned! <laughs> I can't believe they didn't even do like a transcript of every which way but loose. <laughs> yeah. I can't believe it. They must have chosen some really thick monkeys. They didn't type any of Charlton Heston's speeches from, <laughs> um, from Planet of the Apes. I can't believe it. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. You'd have thought six monkeys in a month would have done something. Yeah. At least a script for BJ and the Bear. <laughs> <laughs>
The only thing it caused to be Jane the Bear that it was a monkey, not a bear. Really? Stuck in a moment. You can't get out of it by you two. I know how they feel. Oh, just a quick thought. I just had a sudden thought. Um, just a little update on something we talked about ages ago on the show. You might remember I said once that, um, if I ever met Dido, I thought yeah. I had a good chance with her. Yeah, because yeah. Because she looks like the sort of woman that would work in, say, a photocopying shop. Yeah, And yeah. she'd probably be quite charmed by or me. Or a secretary so. that sort of, like, wrote a couple of songs. Exactly. And the boss said, put, I entered her in something. Yeah. And it, and it won. She did them at the Christmas party. Everyone clapped. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, just an update on that. So far, nothing's happened. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't, I haven't met, met her. her. Nothing's going no, on. So okay. I'll keep you posted on that, Rick. I know you're. Well, I, I, I imagine it's a foregone conclusion when you do, though. That's it's the beauty of it. Is, you know, when when I hear you met her, you don't need to say any more. <laughs> okay, well, I'll just, just say, you, I'll let you just know. wink and say, "I met Dido last night," and I go yeah, say no more. Exactly. Like, you, don't, you don't need. <laughs> I'll just look a little bleary-eyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, probably still from wearing the, the same clothes from the mace. Yeah, exactly. Um, right. Anyway, I just thought I'd keep you abreast of that. Yeah. All the best from London, Carl. Come on, Carl, cheer up. You've had, you had a good Carl. week. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to do a month's notice? <laughs> <laughs> little bit of friction, little bit of friction between Steve and Carl. I think they're, uh, you know, they're getting to each other. Which is, yeah. which well, is tr he's underpants are pinching. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Carl, cheer up. You're lucky, you know how many people uh, would, would pay good money to- Carl, you had a good night out this week, you went to the, the Sony's, you had a free meal. Yeah, that, that annoyed me, I don't- <laughs> Yeah, we came away empty-handed, but- Yeah. It was a go good on. night, wasn't it? You enjoyed that? Did you enjoy that? It... I ate it, but go on. I'm just finding more and more things are, are annoying me. Really? Like, even- Like, at, the, at that Sony's night, right, you've got a lot of, uh, respectable people going to that thing, you know, people yeah. who are high up at the BBC and that. Yeah. And- just the way, you know, it's it's a posh night, there's people there with dinner jackets on and stuff. Mm. And then I, I went to the toilet for a wee. Old fella in there. Mm. I thought he looks, he looks like he's been in the, you know, the radio game for years, probably done loads of award winning Sony stuff. Yeah. You know, I th all the BBC documentaries to do, in depth stuff, and I thought, you know, I wonder if I'll be like him when I'm, when I'm older, I wonder if I'm as good as him. Thinking all that, he's having a wee in the next urinal. Farts. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. He just farts. <laughs> <laughs> Old fella in a dinner jacket, probably hired. And I but thought is that, that, is that like they, that. they try to? They think, well, I better do it in here, and it's sort of like a trumpet, and uh, everyone, everyone just goes, yeah, that's fine. What's up with that? You know, uh, yeah, I know what you mean. Is it? It's just the arrogance of doing he, he it. He just did it. I, it was. It sounded like a a lost whale. So <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> and, and he didn't sort of go. And try and clinch it. It went. It carried on, and then he went. Oh, that was a good one. Really, old fella. Must have been about seventy. Oh dear. And well, better out than in. Yeah. But it's not that I wasn't. I was. I wasn't brought up like that. You see. Right. Because I did it. I mean, I never really did it that much as a kid. Sure. And then I was at my mum and dad's. You never. Sorry, you never did it that much as a kid. What party? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Not not just like, you know, as a joke and that. Yeah. We are taping this for next year's Sony Award, aren't we? We're taping this, what we're talking about now, aren't we? Mm. To hand in. Cos this is- go on. But I was at, at my mum and dad's, right? And, uh, Suzanne was sat on the floor in front of me, and she was like, oh, rub me neck, it's hurting. So I thought, oh, and I hate doing that, it really do it bores me. Well, like. she's your girlfriend, for goodness sake. I know, yeah. Dale Winton's different, you're getting paid for that, go on. So I thought, the only way to shift her is, I'll let one go, right? So I did that. <laughs> I love that! It's such a loving relationship. <laughs> Great! Uh, so like so doing the washing up badly. Yeah. She won't ask me again. What have you done? I've smashed the cups up <laughs> and I've written, written in excrement across the wall. <laughs> well, that's no good, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I won't do it again then. Give me the marigolds, I'll do it. I've nailed the cat to the fridge. What's <laughs> up with that? Yeah. Go on. But yeah, so, so I did that and it worked. She sort of got up and said, oh. And my dad said, what do what you do that for? Yeah. <gasps> what was he thinking? So I said, oh, I, I, hate, I hate rubbing a neck. Does me head in. So he says, you know, I've never trumped. In front of your mother. <laughs> for 40 years. Sorry, where was this? Chigley? Why is this family talking like this? <laughs> yeah. um, I've never... Young Carl, I've never trumped in front of your mother <laughs> in the 35 years. <laughs> why you'd- why- what- I don't know what- No, it's just- it's just that he said, you know, we, we've done a lot of things in the family. Hold on, what- what did he say that for? What, he's never- he's never trumped in front of your mother? He just offered that information up. 
Well, he, he just was surprised that I did it. He said, where have you got that from? Yeah. Well, you, you, you lower intestines, I thought. What do you mean? You have to imagine, imagine there's a class of farting. Oh, uh, no. we haven't, we haven't told our kids about farting. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't do it. We haven't told them about it. We haven't, no, we don't do it in front of them. <laughs> you have to learn it, do you? No, I know, but there's a, there's a place. That's what I was always told. Go on. There's a place for that. Cornwall. <laughs> so, um, and, and my mum, you know, it's the same. She, she doesn't do it. Right. If she, if she goes to the toilet to, you know, do, do what you gotta do, she, uh, she makes sure, like, she, she'll sort of say things like, are you going out for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> are you going uh, out for a walk? Does she think, that, does she know that you're broadcasting this? <laughs> well, yeah. She's probably around at the neighbours now, listening. Yeah. Any of you going out for a walk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not the door. So she, what, she kind of, she waits until everyone's left, or? She, she doesn't like the thought that everyone, do you know like cats don't like you staring at them when they're doing it? <laughs> <laughs> I've never stared at a cat while it was doing anything. <laughs> Have you ever had a pet cat? What not do really. you mean? Yeah, go on, go on. No, it's just that cats, uh, you know, if you get them a little litter tray. Yeah. I remember being told like, now <laughs> when it does use it, don't sort of go and look at it. <laughs> it, put, it puts it off. I was the same as a kid. I didn't, it, when I had a <laughs> nappy. <laughs> Looks at you when you're on the bog. No, no. When I was a kid, and I was in a nappy. Right. Yeah. I used to always, um, like, th there was a corner in the kitchen that yeah. I'd always go to, and everyone would be. Why like, did you go to the toilet? Because they had a nappy on. Oh yeah. Right. How old were you? Fourteen, fifteen. About, <laughs> about three or something. Yeah. Right. And I used to always go to this corner, and yeah. everyone, everyone said, "Right, he's he's going to the corner. Don't watch. <laughs> don't stare at him." <laughs> Imagine you because you've got the same head. Yeah, you it's look a, you like a baby. It's just the way in his head. But with that, would you? Okay, would you put a nappy on for fifty quid? No. Yeah, just I'd just be just sitting, just uh, do your work. No, right. Well, anyway, just anyway, sit in right. the corner. <laughs> so I'm not getting. I'm not doing that. Right. Come on. So yeah, my mum's like that, and something else. She's she's good. I mean, okay, people, go, people go, might don't know. know. Uh, dinner party. Oh, no, it's Mrs. Pilkerson just in the corner. Just don't look at her. Yeah, don't look at Mrs. P. <laughs> she's just she's just in the corner of our kitchen. Don't just look away. <laughs> What's she doing? Just, just she's just doing her business. <laughs> she's there. She is there. She is squatting. Are you going for a walk? <laughs> 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 Sorry, you were saying. Carl. Another uh, another trick I've learned from her, right? If uh, if you're using say a friend's toilet or something, <laughs> and uh, you don't want to leave your mark. Um, just use- Go down the toilet and flush it. Use a, uh, take a box of matches with you. Yes. Set fire to the curtains. Set fire to the curtains, calls it his right Burn the place down, and have a wonderful <laughs> crap, and just leave when the fire brigade get there. Oh, forget it. <laughs> <laughs>
It um, gets people sitting down. Um, and what it does before the people have their hair cut, that it sort of sits there, and it goes through people's hair, makes sure it's clean, and uh, people are loving it. Right, people backtrack. So, so it's a so it's a pet monkey. It's nothing to do with it getting a gig in an hairdresser's. It's a pet monkey. It's not working at monkey and guy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Seriously, it, it's it's in there. Uh, I think it might have started off as a job, and then so what's it, it say? It says junior fifteen pounds, stylist thirty five pounds, <laughs> monkey sixty three pounds. <laughs> so Cut I and didn't blow quite dry. follow. It's in the jungle. It was wandering about. <laughs> <laughs> right. Maybe maybe it did. But start it looks off. good. Its hair looks good. Someone thought, hang yeah, on. Yeah, but never ever. You see, people make that mistake with hairdressers anyway. I always say, well, if the hairdresser's got a good haircut, go to where he's going. Right. Right. Because that's what I thought when I read it about having yeah. a good haircut. How often right? do you go to the hairdressers? Well, not that much anymore. Sure. But but I used to always think that. Yeah. You uh, used to go to a bloke who told me had his shack on a railway bridge that used to shake when a train went over. Yeah. Because it was two quid. Yeah, but before that, I've, I've never had that much luck with hairdressers. Before that was a was another place, and it was run by sort of you know these sort of wannabe gangster type people. Oh yeah. But they'd, uh, you know, you'd go in what for What do you mean by wannabe gangsters? Well, sort of just, just petty crime stuff. You'd go in for air cut and then you'd walk out with a video recorder. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You'd you don't say, have to take it. <laughs> no, no, but they'd sort of spend ages flogging you that whilst cutting your hair. It was their thing. It's like, right, sit down, you're right. Yeah. Oh, you so know. So for the weekend? What are you thinking of? Maybe a Sony. Yeah. yeah. So, and, so that, that's when I stopped going there because it was like, this is what I haircut. I don't want to be assholed. Yeah, which one said that you had the hair of a Chinaman? It's the fellow who works in a railway station haircut. <laughs> well, he saloon. should know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's been around a bit clearly if he runs a shack next to a railway station. <laughs> <laughs> so, um. Can we just go back to Monkey News yeah, for a second? So, anyway, that's all, yeah. yeah. I didn't quite follow why he, he, he's still, he's still, his, his salon is in the jungle? Or where is it? No, he, he was doing his, doing what he does in the jungle, right? Right. Um, <laughs> he's walking about, he wanders into the hairdressers. Yeah. Maybe they didn't have him on, like, as a job straight away, he was just there he's and just said, this is nice. He's sat there picking the nits and oh, I d oh, Carl, I don't know where to start. Then- It's just the- it's the- it's the embellishment. You don't- walk in- he walked from a jungle to an hairdresser's. <laughs> I mean, you're an idiot. You really are an idiot. I'd love to see you try and get a job in an hairdresser, if there was another <laughs> monkey up for it. You'd never get a job. So he was good at that. People said, this is relaxing. Apparently he had really nice hands, soothing, yes. right, on people's heads. He said, let's put him on the payroll. So let's put him on the payroll? What do you mean? No, I'll, I'll give you that. Okay, this is the news item, is it? <sighs> Customers are queuing up to have their hair done at a salon in the jungle by a monkey. Mm -hmm. Judy, a pigtailed macaque, has a reputation as the best exterminator of head lice in Com Cain. There you go. She is so good, some customers fall asleep under her gentle touch. Mm -hmm. Regular Amporon Chekema said, Judy's hands are so soft and gentle, I really feel I can relax. But you know that is doing what it does naturally. It's looking for, like, salt and stuff in the hair. Yeah. And knits. It's not on the payroll. It doesn't complain about when it gets, when <laughs> it gets deducted at uh, national insurance. It's not part of the union. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but but a good monkey news, you know, yeah. backed up with uh, with good tabloid <laughs> with journalism. With yeah, with solid yeah. evidence there. So now that's I think we we should start marking the monkey news, Rick. I don't know what you think. Giving it marks out of ten, maybe. Uh, for both interest and validity. Well, for interest, I'll give it seven. For Carl's uh, Carl believing that there was something to this monkey, thinking it had a job and getting yeah, paid, but it was also <laughs> doing kind of perms, two and colouring, two. Yeah, ridiculous. Again. Yeah. Ridiculous. More monkey news next week. Hopefully, let's just hear that jingle again. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news. Peace train. Isn't that brilliant? Cat Stevens. Now, well, I've, I've sort of enjoyed the last sort of, you know, hour or so after. After the disappointment of the Sonys, um, I, th I think we are going to give up. To be honest, um, do another week and then shoot off. Yeah, knock it on the head. Okay, we are doing it for a laugh anyway. But if they're not going to reward us for that, then do you know what I mean? It's not really worth it. But I, I, I tell you what, could. But what about this, Carl? Can you find out who was on the panel? Can you? But what difference does it make? Well, I want I want you to interview. I want you to phone them up and and I want them to tell them why, why um. 
they didn't think our show was any Yeah, good. let them explain themselves. Just explain themselves. They've got to stand by their convictions. Find them all. Track them down. There's probably about yeah, three hundred- what do you expect then? I They're want to tell the truth. No, you're right. The monk in you should have, you know, <laughs> done the job for you. I, I just want people- I don't want to be- I don't want to sit in a room and hide. I want the three people on the, on the panel, I'll find them out, to say, we didn't vote for you because we thought it was shoddy, amateurish, annoying, there was too much swearing. I'll go, fair enough, well done, mate. You. We didn't vote for you because Carl's voice is an irritant, okay? Okay, well done, mate. You're alright. Uh, we didn't vote for you because, uh, Gervais, you're a, a fat, useless git who uh, understands nothing about broadcasting. And you might do something. <laughs> yeah, and I'll go, right, I'm not so happy with that, but at least you told the truth. Mm -hmm. But get them on the phone. Find out. Find out from Andrew. I get noticed the, none get... of them have mentioned me, which is good. They I know, yeah. I'm pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, they probably all love Steve. Mm. No one likes to pick on an invalid, though. Do you know what I mean? That's. I'm just. We um we got a player request here for um what's her name? Who's? Don't leave it, Steve. Uh, Sonia, who's 18 today. We couldn't find William. It was really nothing worth Smith because um, whoever is in charge of the library, uh, I mean, they probably won an award for it. But, you know, she didn't ask for four non-blondes, so I found there is a light by the Smiths. So, a week to go. Just, it's not, I'm not, I'm not.